everybody, we are Heather and Aaron of Pinkwall Designs. And in this video, we're gonna to talk to you about designing your exterior. So having a big backyard and a big patio is great. If you're not designing it properly and you're not laying it out properly, then a lot of times it can look awkward or things can look very small and things can look out of place. So we're gonna to talk to you about creating different zones in your backyard, focusing on different needs and different wants for your guests and just how to utilize in the best way possible um, patios, grass areas, cement areas, and just your overall exterior. So we're currently at a property that we designed and let's chat about our ideas and what we decided to do with it. Yeah, so this property is specifically for like that beach house, lake house vibe. Luckily, it was a very large property. They have an upper deck that we're on currently. They have a backyard that's pretty massive. Um, that we were able to execute and completely like revamp the exterior experience. Yeah, so let's talk about the patio that we're on right now. So we were able to sort of create zones and we're gonna talk to you guys about those zones right now. So we have a barbecue or outdoor cook spot, if you will, outdoor kitchen area. It's nice because it's on a little bit of an elevated platform. So it's kind of like off in its own corner. If you have kids running around or something, it's going to be nice to be able to just do the cooking over there and kind of you're in the mix of things, but you're also kind of a little bit out of the way and people aren't going to be bothering you while you're barbecuing. Then we have a nice picnic table area and picnic tables are a really great option to fit a lot of people without taking up a lot of space. So on the flip side, if you are tight for space in your backyard, if you opt for a picnic table, especially a circular picnic table, that is a great way to like just cram a bunch of people on benches, tons of kids can sit there and eat and uh, it really doesn't take up a lot of space. And then we're sitting in this like nice comfy conversational area. So we have a tabletop here to be able to put some beverages, some drinks, and then there are four accent chairs. So not only are they comfortable, but they are like aesthetically pleasing to the eye. And then we had this accent wall here that we did that faux grass look with some twinkle lights. So this kind of area will look awesome during the day, but also so at night. Totally. And it's really important when you're creating conversation areas to include certain elements so that people know that it's sort of a designated area. So first and foremost, when you're focusing on the exterior, you definitely want weather resistant chairs. So, you know, not everything's gonna be waterproof necessarily, but these chairs, not only, as you mentioned, are they comfortable, but they are water resistant. So they're gonna be able to withstand some weather. If it rains, you know, nothing bad is gonna happen. The cushions that we're using in these chairs as well are outdoor cushions and they're easily removable to be brought inside. Like they're not this thing that you have to strap to the chair, like that can kind of get annoying too. So a nice little hack for that is just a throw pillow. It still provides great comfort and then it's easy to just throw inside when you're not utilizing the outdoor space. An umbrella is also a very nice and key element to include. It kind of sections off the area a little bit more and of course it also protects from the sun if you don't want necessarily want to be in the sun all day. And yeah, it just provides that like little, you know, here is the conversation area, sit here. <laughs> Another thing that people forget about or they overlook are outdoor rugs. And there's a ton of different options. Again, weather resistant, very, very durable rugs for good prices. And adding in that rug just brings up that extra element of design and that feeling of like, you feel like you're almost inside in a living space, but you're really outside. As you can see, this property has an amazing view. So it already had existing glass kind of feature for the fenced off balcony. And then it also has a ledge on the top. So we added in some fun bar stools. We did like a nice bright color to go with that beach vibe. And yeah, the upper deck with the ledge is a nice addition to have. So then your guests can have a place to lean on, put their beverages on. Yeah, and if uh, your property doesn't have something like that already, and if you're looking to sort of repeat something like this, you can definitely look into just swapping out the top railing of your balcony and seeing if you can get something that's even just a little bit more wider or even just something very simple with like a tiny little ledge and it acts as a bar top and it's a really nice additional feature. Like Aaron said, we could put, you could put bar stools and enjoy the view and have a drink. 
So we now move down to the grass area of the lower level of the property, which is massive. So this home, when we got here, it had huge potential. Um, the clients opted into doing professional landscape, which really like sprucened up the area. We suggested and recommend that they keep this fire pit area, which we then added in these, we call them Muskoka chairs, but they're also called, we can never say the word, uh, Adiron, Adirondack chairs. <laughs> I never, I'm gonna go the rest of my life with not being able to say that. I know, but the best thing about these is it really like, creates this conversational piece. Everybody has a spot to sit. So this home hosts at least 10 guests. So you need to make sure that you have enough seating area per guest. And this is one of probably my favorite highlights of the property because it is so welcoming. This will be a hot spot for the guests that come to this property. So another really attractive amenity in a short-term rental is a hot tub. A hot tub is fantastic because it can be used all year long. It's also less expensive than putting in a pool, less maintenance, and it still is a really nice amenity for your guests to use. So what we recommended to our clients in this property was to place the hot tub under a gazebo for that weather and seasonality. So if it is snowing, if it is raining, the hot tub is still full, fully utilizable. This gazebo in particular has a mosquito net, which is nice for in the summertime, you can close it and help keep the bugs out. It's also nice that if it is raining, you can sort of help keep the water out if you just only want to be in the hot tub, not deal with the rain. And then a thing that we really like to do, we recommend to all of our clients who want to include a hot tub in their exterior space, is to create a sort of bar or console area because I think a lot of people will throw a hot tub in their backyard and then call it a day. But you have to think about when you're using a hot tub. People are gonna be coming out to use a hot tub, bringing a towel, bringing their phone, possibly bringing a speaker, bringing a drink, maybe bringing some food. So they need places to put these things. So definitely always we would recommend getting a console table or just something to put all of those things. So maybe even a basket for some clean towels and that, that way you don't have to put your towel on the floor. You want somewhere to put drinks, all of those things. And something can easily be created like that. You don't necessarily have to go out and buy a designated console table. You can get a drink cart and put a couple of small tables beside. You can get a couple tables and put them all in sort of the gazebo area. There's lots of different ways to do it, but definitely do not forget about that part because it's very important and people don't wanna have their stuff on the floor. Yeah, and another thing to note, when you're using the hot tub or even a pool for that matter, as an amenity in your properties, you need to provide area for your guests to put their towels. So they're gonna have wet towels. So we recommend doing like hooks outside or in a mudroom. So in this feature behind us, they have the slider door that goes right into the mudroom and there are multiple hooks on the wall. So then they have room to put their towels up to dry. Exactly, because you don't want your guests throwing their towels on the floor or in a laundry basket where they're gonna sit and get moldy. You wanna encourage them to hang them up so they can dry, and then your cleaners can come and wash them and keep them in good condition. So another zone that we added into this property is right behind us. So we provided multiple games. You're gonna have groups of, you know, like couples, families, children of all ages. So you wanna be able to provide them with games that are fun for everybody. So we included Connect Four, Cornhole, and then there are also some bikes. You're right on the strand behind us at Burlington or Hamilton Beach here. So a bike is a nice option if people wanna go for a ride. And then as well as adding in those extra features of games is another fun thing for people to do while they're here. Yeah, and that's a very inexpensive thing to offer. If you have just a grass area that you don't know what to do with or a cement area that you don't know what to do with, Adding in a couple of inexpensive games can be a game changer, no pun intended. And you know, it's just a way for people to utilize the exterior. Nothing has to stay living outside. You can have your cleaners or somebody, property manager, bring the games inside between stays or encourage your guests to bring them inside if uh, they're finished using them. But definitely a great uh, thing to add to your property and a nice little zone to also take up some space if you're trying to fill an exterior. Yeah, and as time goes on, like there's so many games that you can purchase online from Amazon. So you can always change them up. You're probably gonna have to upgrade them like as guests use them, you know, things always happen and things get broken, but that's your opportunity to get in other games. Yeah, change it up from time to time. So the last zone that we created in this exterior was a little bit of a 
quiet, more retreative area, if you will, for maybe two people to sit down and have a conversation. Maybe if it's a large group of people here and you need to just have half an hour to yourself, we wanted to provide a little bit of a sanctuary for guests to just sort of come away from the group, come away from the business of what's going on in the property, rest, relax. Maybe if someone has to take a phone call or answer an email, we have these beautiful egg chairs here that just provide that like, you know, comfortable and sort of, you know, relaxing nook, if you will. And it's it, that is another nice thing to add to the property because everything else is very amenity focused and, you know, fun and, and loud and extravagant. So when you have something that contrasts all of that, that's really nice for your guests as well, just to sort of like sit and relax, even maybe take a nap, just something, another zone idea to add to your property if it fits that theme. And on the note of like the feature wall that we did upstairs with the grass wall, I find the egg chairs right now are really trendy. And uh, the sort of the last thing that we suggested for this exterior to tie everything together was beautiful string lights around the whole property and the fence. And you know, th this is not the first time it's been done. Lots of people use string lights, but they just provide such a beautiful ambiance, especially when the sun is setting and it's getting darker, you light a fire. Those string lights will make such a difference and they're very, very inexpensive. And one of the really unique things about the string lights that our clients have here is that these are actually solar powered. So if you don't have a plug or an outlet outside in your backyard, there is a solar option. It's very inexpensive and you can still hang your string lights. And th these ones will actually turn on when it becomes dark out. So you don't, you don't even have to worry about going and plugging them in and turning them on yourself. You can just rely on the sun setting and they'll just turn, turn on themselves. So a lot of different options. You can opt for an electrical version as well if you have the outlets for it. But if you're worried about that or if you just don't have that option, a solar option is very nice as well. So to tie it all up, this property, we had a lot of surface area to work with, which is why we had so many zones. Your guests are gonna come, they're gonna have the overall experience and be able to utilize this space to the best of its ability. So that's it for this video. We hope you guys enjoyed zoning out your exterior and designing it, laying it out properly. Hopefully we gave you some extra ideas in case you are doing that yourself. And please subscribe to our channel and watch the rest of our videos.